Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Corrupted Gauntlet today if you are really bad at the game. Here's my kills and my deaths. Honestly, a lot of my deaths have came from my terrible internet. I have to use my phone's internet for my PC, so I lag a ton. So if you have bad internet, have fun here, but... I've also been able to kill it a lot. I've learned a lot. And I'm going to show you guys what I've learned today. First thing that I think will help you a lot. Go into your settings. Type in HP. Disable show boss health overlay. It, uh, it shows a larger health overlay up here. And it's way too big. It's way too distracting when you're trying to path to get away from the tornadoes it's gonna mess you up a lot second is gonna be a rune light plug-in I'm Hunliff helper helps a lot but that's not the plugin I was gonna show you um, but I would definitely use it it gives you a timer here I let it go two one mage it tells you when you should switch prayers. It helps a lot, especially in the last phase. When you're trying to avoid tornadoes, trying to eat, trying to switch prayers, then you don't have to be looking at the hunt lift. You can just switch prayers from hearing it. Um, I also keep my audio, my sound effect settings up a little bit. I don't know. That's just how I play. Um, the next would be to remove... Your chat in the fixed screen. I would 100% use fixed screen. Fixed classic layout when you're doing this. Some people like resizable classic. I don't look like look how much smaller everything is over here. Like yeah, you can, but with fixed classic, it's a lot bigger, a lot easier to click. And all you need is chat. Is that fixed mode hide chat fixed mode hide chat plugin go here get this plugin it'll help you a lot okay next plugin what is it true tile indicator or uh it Tile packs helps a lot. You're going to want to get that and enable Hunliff. Um, I don't know where it's at. Crown markers, maybe. Tile packs. Maybe when you get it. Um, there's a spot where you can add the different tiles oh well you can mess with all that tile uh, tile packs improved tile indicators tile indicators and ground markers you'll need those then NPC indicators NPC indicator um, corrupted hunlift Put the corrupted hunlift on the NPC indicators. It will put a highlight of the hunlift. Makes it a lot easier to click, and you won't be misclicking as much and getting stomped on a lot. So let me see. Let me look at my list. Hunlift helper, uh, CG helper. So you have a list of things you need. That helps a lot. I don't even know if it's probably just Gauntlet Helper. Track collected resources in the Gauntlet. That's not it. Gauntlet Minimap helps a lot. And then the Gauntlet. Just called the Gauntlet. All in one plugin for the Gauntlet. Just get the one that's called the Gauntlet. That'll uh, keep track of all your resources you need. Okay. Okay, so once you have all those settings set up, You'll be good to go. All right.
then I'll show you how I prep. Let me show you how I prep. Okay, so first thing, since this is the closest node that I am spawned towards, I'm going to open it. I'm going to either open the one on the left hand side opposite of the Hunliff or the right hand side, the one over there. I'm not going to open the one. I mean, you can open the one across from it, but I wouldn't go into it until you open the left or the right and then go into it from this way. So, here I'll show you. You have, you have to kill one to three of these small guys. You want to get a weapon frame your first run through, no matter what. You have to get a weapon frame. If you don't see three of those guys, you have to kill one of these guys. I would kill one of these guys. They do not take that long. Um, just take the time to kill them. Honestly, it takes almost as much time to kill three of these guys as it does to kill one of those guys, so. And depending on how much they're hitting me is dependent on if I protect melee or not. Obviously, try to get on a side of a thing where you're not getting attacked and you can just save protection prayers. So, as you see, I went from here around and I'm opening up all of these along the wall because the ones along the wall have a chance to have a demi boss which is if you open up all three of these the chances of you finding one are pretty high if i don't find one honestly i'll go and i'll open up this one and i'll open up the next one it's just to see sometimes you won't get it um if you don't what i'll do is i'll go to this room and i'll just keep following the path around there will be a corner and just cut um first uh route or first roundabout that you do on here i try to get as much food as i can i only got four pieces this time usually i would have also opened that room but i'm talking so i'm not really paying attention but i'll be able to beat it it's okay typically i'll try to get at least eight to twelve food my first go around but I didn't it's okay you gotta pick the magic if you can I'll make two of these and then I'll try to make if I have all the resources I'll try to make the pants to fill up my water jugs before we go come out here kill the two demi bosses, and then all we're looking for is one grim leaf, which is right there. All right there, and food. That's it. That's all we gotta find is food. And I don't have enough room in my inventory to get all the food, I don't think. But I should be okay. I don't really need 24 pieces of food. If I was you, I would go with 24 pieces of food every kill because it's not hard to find 24 pieces of food. If you think it is, like they can be, you'll have runs where you can't find it, but I would say 90% of the time I can find 24 pieces of food. Okay. Orb, you don't need the second weapon frame, you only need the one you need a second weapon frame on your second go and we got lucky on the food nice but as you see if i would have opened that room i would have had the food on the first go and i wouldn't be doing this right now i would have done it already but as you can see it doesn't really matter well, it does because you need space. You need inventory space. So you want to get as much as you can your first go for sure. But it doesn't matter all that much if you don't get it full. You know what I mean? If you don't get a full, full inventory. So now we got enough for this guy. So we're going to grab him. And look at that. Almost 24. We got 23 pieces of food. That's like perfect. And I still got 100 million hours left. 
like two minutes and a half. Two and a half minutes, plenty of time. So. I'm telling you, as long as you just do. So. This, we would be facing this way. This is our front. This is the way we want to be going. So you open to the left, go straight, open this one, but don't even go in there. Go to the right, open this one. Let's add something you really need, like right in the front. I don't even go into the back. I go in maybe in the front, but that's it. Then open, go here, open this one. Don't go in there, maybe in the front, like I said. Next one, open this one. If you don't have any demi bosses in these first three, maybe go into the next one. But honestly, I don't even know if you can get demi bosses in this room, this room, or this one. This room, for sure, you cannot. These two rooms right here, I don't think you can. I think it's only these three rooms that you can get demi bosses in. Kind of lame. So, let's make our. Also, there will be times if you say you make your pants first, there will be times where you accidentally like make a tier two set of pants and then you don't have a helmet if you do that just freaking run it it doesn't make a difference it really doesn't tier two pants and like you get max hit more i think that the max hits like 15 but it won't make a difference in the long run of the actual kill you'll get the kills though i've done it like five times on accident okay i like to be full I'm gonna go in there just to have a nice run. He's in a corner perfectly, so I'm just gonna run. Um, you wanna wait until he gets into a corner. I kind of messed up the start. I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna wait for the magic. You wanna start that as soon as you come in here. And if you don't, though, you can always just restart it with the magic. And I just got stomped. No, I didn't. Two, one, range. See, so we're off. We're good. Um, kind of hard to explain this when you're doing it. I probably should have recorded it Two, and then one, it over it. Mage. Just run away from the tornadoes. Listen for this guy to tell you. Two, to change one, players. range. You can sneak some sneaky uh, hits in when the tornadoes Two, are out. One. If you're far enough mage. away. You want to make sure you're far enough away because if they both hit you at the same time, they can hit you for like 40. Just two of them. If you have all four two, of them out at the end, they'll one, kill you. Range. So it gets a lot tougher to be able to hit while the tornadoes are out as you go through the phases. Two. <laughs> one. As you can see, mage. That, I'm lighting him up pretty good. This is a pretty good kill. But, yeah, you just do Two, this. One, Try to eat while range. you're running around. Try not to eat while you have opportunity to attack. Like, look, right now, I have free opportunity to attack. I'm going to try not to eat. Two, one, Even if I get down mage. Low. Unless I get down to, like, 30 HP, then I'll eat. Like even right here, 39 Two, is not bad. Could, one, right range. Now, cool. I got time to eat. Two, one, mage. Two, one, range. So as you see there, two, he one, mage. Let's his tornadoes out. You kind of want to start running as soon as you hear that he's got them coming out, because the chances that they spawn it right two, next to you, one, just freaking range, goes underneath of you, is pretty high. I'm talking like high eighty-five percent chance that's gonna happen. Two, happens all the time. one. So just start mage. running as soon as you hear tornado coming. 
You hear the tornado sirens when he does that little stompy move? You get your ass running, bro. Two. Like that one, right there, you fucking range. Run. You don't fucking stick around. You don't try to get an extra fucking hit in. You start running. If you try to get an extra hit in, you're gonna die. Two, I promise you, you're gonna one, die. One. Mage. I've done it a hundred times. Trust me. Maybe literally. Possibly literally. Two. One. Range. Now this is the last phase. I've been in the last phase for a minute. These, this is where these tiles come in. Two. And I'm also one, not able to hit because mage. that's what I'm hitting them with. Um, these tiles are helpful because they're safe spots against the lava. This is the hardest. Two. One. Range. The outside lava is the hardest phase to run away from the tornado zone. That's where you just gotta be confident of two, running over top of one, them. Just run over mage. top of them and hope you don't die. That's the plan. On that one. Or try not to, but you, know, you have to basically. Two, one, range. So there's our first kill. Good job. <laughs> Let's hope we got the enhance and I can quit. Nope. Um, alright. I'm sure you learned a ton from this video. I couldn't imagine there's a video that could teach you more. So, now that you guys know how to do the Corrupted Gauntlet, and you can do it consistently, um, enjoy the grind. It's a tough freaking grind, dude. I would say do 10-15 kills a day. Don't try to burn yourself out on it because you will. Trust me. Alright, have a good one.